Hart. And I'm Vanessa. And we are late to the party, and it's a long-awaited edition of Party Favors! Universal Yums has sent us a box full of treats. Yeah, they must have watched our uh, episode of Party Favors when we did a taste test of a bunch of, of you know, treats that are from you know, Scotland and the UK and all that because our good friend Lainey was over there and she brought stuff for us. So Universal Yums has decided well, we're going to send you treats from across the globe for you to try out and you guys get to watch it all happen. Yes, I'm so excited uh, about this. Even for the fact, like, their little sticker that they have, it says the land of many Harrys. And as you can see, they have Harry Potter, Prince Harry, and then over here is going to be Harry Styles. Well, not so much Prince Harry anymore. We got him. But now we are going to open up this Universal Yums box. There are three boxes that you're capable of getting. It's a monthly subscription-based uh, delivery service. Uh, you don't pay for the delivery. You pay for the actual boxes themselves. And it's $15, $25, or $39. Yes, and so $15, you get about six plus bars. $25, you get about 12 plus bars. And then with the $39 box, you get 20 plus jars, which is the super yum box. Yum box, yum yum box, and the super yum box. But we have the yum yum box, so let's take a look at what they sent us. Sorry, Harry's. I felt like low pan. <laughs> <laughs> Cool. So it has like a little pamphlet here, or a little, I guess, board. It says, Welcome to the United Kingdom. So it looks like we have a bunch of stuff coming from the United Kingdom. And then on the back, it shows that there's some games on the back uh, for yours. I guess it's like you can uh, score. It's like a scoreboard, so you can score all of the products that you're going to eat. Um, and then you rate your favorite yummy your worst yummy and your weirdest yummy and it's uh it's nice because it looks like they give you i mean all the information that you need this is like for a freaking like candy addict the universal candy lovers uh this is the holy grail right here oh it's got the nutrition facts too because i was curious what i'm putting into my body but it looks like uh there's quite a few treats in here and uh i'm excited for this it looks like first up Welsh potato crisp, lamb and mint flavor, Ooh. made from potatoes born and raised in Wales. Oh. And uh, yeah, this is Taylor's Welsh potato crisp. I don't know about the mint. Uh, yeah, I, the mint is uh, interesting, but you never know. It could be just, you know, like uh, when people think of like sour cream and onion sure. or, you know, like cool ranch, they're like, oh, what's that? So. And uh, it looks like they are not gluten free. Um, it says that they may contain wheat, barley, oats, gluten, and mustard. So. Oh, they put it right on the box, gluten. Yeah, I, I like that they tell you there, tell you that there. So um, let's take a look. At the Welsh, well, let's take a test, taste test of the Welsh potato crisps. Uh, I hate mint. I'm not gonna lie. I hate like those Amy's I like mints. mints. No. But I don't like like mint. Oh. I don't like chocolate chip mint and everything. So we'll see how this goes. I mean, it's kind of like a uh, baked chip. I mean, it doesn't really smell whole minty. I just forgot about the lamb part too. Yeah, there's lamb in there. I'm not gonna lie, there's really no taste. It's a uh, seasoned uh, communion wafer, essentially. Yeah. Like, I, I like it. Doesn't taste like mint. Doesn't taste like lamb. It's almost like a more flavorful Lay's. Yeah. Lay's is the original and you pop those, but there's really no taste to it. Right. This is a more hearty, flavorful Lay's Right, chip. and I mean, the, the potato is more sturdy than Lay's are. Lay's are very sliced thin. Yeah. These aren't very sliced thin. Yeah, it's not terrible. Um, and I was thinking about, like, aftertaste or, or residual tasting. Mm -hmm. It's gone. It's not terrible. It's not bad. Yeah. It's not bad. It's also not something I'd probably get because it's the Lay's in terms of taste. It's, it's just a little heightened. There's not a whole lot to it. Just an extra crispier meal. Yeah. I feel like this would go good with like if you're having a sandwich or you know if you are you know just want a side of chips or crisps. 
All right, so let's see what else we have in store here. It looks like we got a lot of crisps to go through, so this should be exciting. Um, next up on the docket, we've got Kent Crisp. Crisps, Ashmore cheese and onion. I'm looking Ooh. forward to that, yeah. So yeah, this one I'm excited for just because cheese and onion, cheese and onion typically. Sour cream and onion is uh, typically well Typically pretty good. And then cheese and sour cream and onion is And this good. one does happen to be gluten free. All right, well that's good to know, but uh, I am not gluten sensitive, so let's Neither get into am I, it. Neither am I, but you know, lately. For anybody who, yeah, if you're interested in these things, it's a very important Thing, especially thing if know. you have, you know, those uh, allergies or anything like that, too. Absolutely, because it's painful. We've seen it go down many times. smell the cheese a little bit. Yeah, more realistic cheese, you yeah. know, than your typical bag of chips with cheddar in it. Yeah. All right. Look at, she she's like a, a little, baby one. They're a little more... <laughs> that's right. That's how you do it. Uh, thin, thin sliced more so, but it still has that, you know, crisp to it, so... Okay, yeah. Mmm, these are oh, good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ruffles, get out of the way. That's that cheese and sour cream and onion. Amazing. It, it feel, it tastes a little bit of like if you took the, the cheddar uh, cheese one and then you brought the sour cream and onion a little bit, but you took a little the sour cream away and you put the cheddar and then you had the onion in there. It's what I could go for these. Like. I can yeah. order bags of these. Yeah, these are pretty good. And they're gluten free. Yeah. Which is exciting. Kent Crisps, I liked you uh, a little bit better uh, than Taylor's Welsh potatoes, but this is something I would definitely get recreationally. Yeah. This is for good. sure. Mm -hmm. So, going from one chip to another, looks like Mackey's of Scotland. Honey mustard, which I've come to enjoy honey mustard more late in life than I did uh, when I was much, much younger. Yeah, I'm not very f a big fan of mustard. Sometimes I'll have it, but if I can choose not to have it on anything, I will choose not to have it on anything. So this one should be interesting for me to try. And I don't see any notification on here about gluten, whether or not it has it, but you know, I'm gonna assume that it's one of those ones where it's like, well, we can't say it's gluten free, but you're probably safe, but in a factory where they're doing all the same work, it's possible. Honey mustard. I mean, it could be the mustard, too. I'm sure must some mustard. This is very is similar to the Welsh potato crisp in how it's designed. It's a little bit sturdier, more like a, a wafer of some sort. Yeah, this one is going to be interesting for me because, one, I, I mean, I like honey. I don't really care for mustard. So, the bottom's up, I guess. You have no choice. I know. You have to eat it. I don't. No. Not, not for me. You know? Um. Not, again, not a whole lot there. I wonder if it's maybe the consistency of the crisp. It just doesn't retain a lot of flavoring. Maybe, but... Or if they're just not putting a lot of flavoring. I don't really mm, taste anything I like here. It. I don't even taste the mustard. Very beginning. Yeah, when I at the very beginning you could say that, and I was like, nope. And then as soon as I like started to eat it more, I'm like, okay, it's going away. Sure. But that initial taste test, I'm like, no, not for me. Yeah, definitely. Mo mostly because I don't like um, honey. Or I like honey, I just don't like honey mustard. Well, or now mustard. we're moving on to something you probably don't like oh very gosh. well. Oh my gosh. Well, this one, I mean, it depends. You've, you've got pickled in there. So pickle, that aspect of it, I don't know, you're not a big fan of the pickled taste. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of pickles in general. Like, I don't like pickles at all. I don't like the taste of it. So this is a pickled onion ring. So crying out with flavor, Johnny's pickled onion rings. Uh, only 25p, pickled onion flavored corn snacks. They got corn on the list, but is it the gluten-free? I don't see anything about it, probably the same deal, but they do tell you to throw away your garbage. Don't just throw it out on the street. And it shows it's vegetarian. Sure. So. Now, I'm not a fan of Funyuns. So if it has that Funyun texture, which I'm sure it probably will, I mean, oh. maybe this will be the way to correct they're my like Funyun little, love. They're like little ones. Oh, they're teeny tiny. Yeah, they're Almost teeny. like cereal. Yeah. 
Very small. Very small, of course. Very small, of course, but let's see. Pickled onion oh, rings. God. Just the pickled... Just the pickled part of we it. We can pickle that. Tastes like cereal. <laughs> Sharp, pickled taste. Oh no, okay. It's like it stabs you. <laughs> I don't want to do it now. It's good. It's not bad. <laughs> okay. Sharp, and then it's gone. I kind of like this. Well, these are yours now. Yeah. No, I yeah, could do these. Me. I could do these. It's got that sharp bite of pickle, pickled flavor. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan. I like them better Only than because of the pickle part. Like, the right. texture and everything, I could I could deal with that. I could do that. If it wasn't pickled, I could do it. Well, moving on. Uh, it looks like there is Grandma Wild's Toffee Flapjack. Oh, we're getting a little bit more sweet here now, eh? Moving on to the sweeter fare when it comes to the treats. That's what's cool. We is got sweet chips? and, like, you know, salty. Salty and sweet. Toffee Flapjack with a deli delicious toffee-flavored topping. Baked without compromise since 1899. Oat bar with toffee, toffee flavoring. I can't say toffee. 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 You know why I can't say toffee? I don't like toffee. I like toffee. Do you? I do. I'll try it. I'm not a huge sweets fan. That's, That's why I like that this box has uh, like. not just sweets in it. I literally thought it was going to be like 6, 7, 12, whatever candy bars. Not looking forward to that much candy. <laughs> but this is different. It's more like a, a an oat cake, which I'm a fan of like oatmeal cookies. No raisins. What are you doing? I mean, mm. I get the appeal. Yeah, it sm smells more like an oat co uh, an oatmeal cookie. That she's gonna break it off. No. Now in the time of the COVID, I don't know why I want to bite from that end. Maybe I'll go on the other side. Very soft. Yeah. Melts away. Like yeah. if you tried to break this, it would crumble. It would crumble in your in your, hand. That's why I was like, no, it felt like it was gonna crumble in my hand. Mmm. A nice glass of milk. Yeah. Coffee. Yeah, I could see maybe it. Maybe some tea. It tastes like a very soft, chewy oatmeal cookie. Sweeter. Yeah. I think it's way sweeter than an oatmeal cookie. And like I can feel that toffee. richness. Yeah, that's the toffee. Yeah, on there. very richness of it. But it's good. I like it. I like it too. It, it it's something you would have with uh, just a glass of milk. You know, it's mm -hmm. it it's more filling than a cookie. So you probably won't end up eating half the sleeve. Right. But at the same time, it is uh, sweeter mm. than oatmeal cookies. Yeah. So now this it just one melts in your mouth so good. Yeah, it it definitely just crumbled and fell apart the second it hit your mouth. Ah, that's what she said. So we've got Bridge Stows of D Devon of Devon Bridge Stows of Devon Fudge Clotted Cream. Ooh. I also don't like fudge. Yeah, I'm not really a huge fan of fudge either, but that's more of like chocolate fudge. I'm not a huge fan of chocolate fudge. So. Fudge packer? We'll let's, see. Let's, let's, get, see how, let's get them open. Yeah, let's yeah. see how this is. I mean, mostly I'm just not a fan of, of fudge just because it's just so damn chewy. And if I want to do chewing, I like it to be uh, fruit flavored for the most part. Uh, when it's chocolate flavored, it's like a Tootsie Roll. And I'm not a huge Ooh. fan of Tootsie Rolls. That's kind of what I'm getting here, except it's fudge. But then again, I had an uncle, and every time we went over to his house, uh, he had all kinds of fudge, and I always ended up eating it because he made it. He would make trays of it. And I'm like, this is fine, but it's not something, yeah, it crumbled apart, which is good. That means it's not going to be too hard to chew, because uh, I was only going to take a little of it, but let's see. I like it. Yeah, it requires no strength whatsoever mm -hmm. to eat it. That was one of my things, you know. Sorry, braces. <laughs> yeah. Uh, because I was like, oh, is it going to be hard? But I'm no, over it. I like it. I don't even want the rest of the, the pieces I broke off. It's Not, very sweet, too. Yeah, it tastes like fudge. But. It's good, though. I don't know. I like it. Suitable for vegetarians. If you guys want some fudge and you want some clotted cream, premium fudge. Not too bad. So we I got another the, thing. The oatmeal. From Bristow's as well. We got the chewy bonbons. Bonbons? What, what is it? Like fruit flavor? It's rhubarb and custard flavored. All right. I guess. Pam hates rhubarb. <laughs> it's just a bunch of everything. Kind of a mix-up. I mean, yeah. 
It kind of looks like a uh, like Sour Patch Kid type deal. Let me get one with a little bit more pink on it. Yeah, so a little mix custard and rhubarb. I mean, maybe it's like eating pie with pudding. Maybe. I got to clean out the palate. I'm still tasting the fudge. Oh no. Not a fan of that fudge. Because it tastes like fudge. Bum bum. No chewy here. Oh, it is chewy. Bum bum. Now it has the consistency of a Tootsie Roll. Mixed mm -hmm. with a little Laffy Taffy. Mm -hmm. I like the custard taste to it. Yeah, it's got like a an interesting taste. Like if you wanted to have a pie in a uh, gummy form, not a gummy, but more of a yeah. taffy form. Yeah. That's kind of what you're getting. I don't want it anymore. Like the taste is fine, but I don't want to revisit the taste. I can revisit, but like I, I feel like I would have to be in a mood for revisiting it. Sure, you're gonna have to. We got a whole bag of it. I'll probably be the one to eat it all. So yeah, not a fan of the uh, chewy bonbons by Bristow's. Rhubarb and custard. I'm not sure there's a place, I'm place sure. for it. If it was cherry and custard, he'd probably take that. I mean, if it did taste like, you know, like cherry yogurt or something mixed together, that'd probably be pretty good. But then it's just a yogurt bite. <laughs> Moving on, what I love most about my sweets is when they really don't taste that sweet at all. So shortbread, light and crumbly shortbread rounds, melt in the mouth, baked by hand, Dean's. Original family recipe. I love shortbread. Especially when there's nothing in it. I think shortbread is fine. So, this will be fine. Well, it looks like it comes with uh, two wafers. One for each of you. Yeah, I think that, you know, shortbread is fine. No, shortbread's delicious. I prefer this over any other cookie you could throw at me. Yeah, mm -hmm. fine. The tin full of shortbreads, hell yeah, get down on that. It has to be like coated with chocolate or something. Mm -hmm. like, I love the ones no. that are coated with chocolate. No chocolate, just this. I don't need no flavoring, I don't need no additive. Just I mean, this is fun, like, up. you know, with milk, drink with milk. Uh-uh. -oh. <laughs> oh, <good. laughs> Well, cool. well, we know uh, the the winner for Robert, most likely, is Good. Dean's original family recipe, light and crumbly shortbread rounds. Oh, I like shortbread. All right, so next on the docket, we have yummy banana toffee. So we have another toffee, um, but this time it's yummy banana. Whack, then unwrap and enjoy. And this one is gluten-free. Okay. So... It says whack, then unwrap and enjoy. So do I like break it? Whack, then break it. I guess you know to get it to to be a little bit loosey goosey. I don't know. I eat my uh, loosey goosey, loosey goosey. I eat my string cheese just as is, like Ryan Howard. So breaking it up, right just dive there, right, right in and take a bite out of it. <laughs> and then unwrap. Did it even break? No, I think. Oh no, it's very toffee and uh. Woo! Yeah. Uh, thought she was gonna give me that piece, but all right, I'll go fishing. Ooh no! Eh. No, this is just far. That's what you're doing. You're waking it up. Yeah. Look at that. Uh. It's like a big hunk, just with banana toffee oh. flavoring. I don't know That's if I even want it. I stuck to my teeth. Of course it is. Careful with the braces. Just suck on it and just waste it away and then spit out what's left. That's what she said. Um, like I said, I like toffee. I'm not a huge fan of the, like banana flavored stuff. Like any banana flavor. I except banana for I love bananas. I don't really like the banana flavor though. On anything else. 
So I'm a huge fan of banana bread, especially like banana bread. You throw in some uh, chocolate chips in there. It is banana flavored, but if you're into the texture that you typically get from like a chewy or a big hunk or something like that, that's exactly what it is, but banana flavored. So I'm not a huge fan of it. I like my uh, snacks or at least my treats crumbly and soft when it comes to like the... Uh, the uh, shortbread cakes or the oatmeal cake, so it is fine. I kind of want to spit it out because I don't want to keep chewing on it. I don't even want it to hit my teeth because I don't want to have to be picking it out of my oh, yeah, teeth. That's afterwards. why I use the back teeth that don't have anything, but it's yeah. like stuck there now. But, well, but that's to be expected when you get like a toffee type or yeah, yeah that that texture. Of it. I don't know. It was toffee on that uh, that oatmeal cookie, and that turned out pretty well. Yeah, but there's a lot of other you know ingredients coming into that one. So the last bag that we have in here, and it's it's funny because this kind of feels like you get a bigger bag with a bunch of little bags in there with different assortments, and that's what they gave you. So it doesn't have a wrapper, it doesn't have the information, it's just the free candies as themselves. Because people always say too, like, where the hell do those candies come from? Like the strawberry ones that your aunt or your grandma always had. Like, where do they come from? I don't know, I've never seen a package with all of them in there, so they gotta be from an assortment. And that's what we got going on here. And it looks like that these are the Brist Bristow's chocolate lime. So lime hard candies with chocolate filling. Oh, they and then And then these ones looks like they're Bristow's Bucks Fizz Chews. So fizzy orange and champagne chews. Orange and champagne, all right. And then the other ones that we have there, that's the, the Bristow's Sherbet Lemon. Sherbet Lemon. Fizzy lemon hard candies. And then this is the lime. So lime with chocolate lime. inside. I guess we're going to try one of each. Yeah. We got to. Orange fizz with champagne. Orange fizz with champagne. You beat me. I can't open mm. it. All right. Good? Mm-hmm. 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 Mm -hmm. I like it. You like Bob? And what about Bob? Mm. Mm. Good orange flavoring. Mm-hmm. It does taste like sherbet. Was it orange sherbet? No, because I think it was no. lime and sherbet. It was the lime and sherbet is the other one. This one is the 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 fizzy orange. Not gonna lie, it tastes like orange. It's all it tastes like. It's an orange candy. Do the lime with the chocolate in it. Mm. <laughs> I like lime or chocolate that much. Yeah. Uh. Not that's a hard That's candy, off. so it's probably one of those, like, it's like a Tootsie Roll Pop. You get to the center of the Tootsie Roll Pop, and then you got the chocolate in the middle. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. How many licks does it dip to the middle of this? One. one. Its consistency is of a lifesaver. Yeah. Or a Tootsie Roll Pop. Yeah. Yeah, the candy inside, it's, it's very similar to a Tootsie Roll. Yeah. So like a Tootsie Roll pop. But very much less of it compared to a big ball of Tootsie Roll. This is more like strands of See, this is nice because it's like if you want just, you know, like a simple one. You pop it in your mouth. You shaver it for a little bit. Yeah. And then once you get to the Tootsie Roll pop part of it, or the... Once you get to the chocolate filling mm -hmm. for it, then you're like, okay. It's a better Tootsie Roll. Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't eat it. I'd eat the cherry. <laughs> if they came out with a cherry chocolate one? If they came out with a cherry cherry one. Cherry cherry filling? But you, you sold cherries. me. You sold me on the efficiency. Yeah. Not having to carry around the, the pop, just little ones. Just yeah, and then in. once you're done with it, it's in your mouth. You don't have a stick that you need to throw away. It's just uh -huh. gone. The efficiency. Tootsie Roll, what are you doing? <laughs> Put them in these little bite forms and yeah, I'd be popping those. That'd be pretty good. Right. Final one. What is it? Lime the, hard, the lime hard candy. I still got the fake Tootsie Pop on my mouth. Well, lemon lime. I'm going to have Sprite and chocolate in a moment. Mm hmm. Typical, your typical hard candy. Mm-hmm. 
not as strong mm -hmm. or sour as like a lemon head. Mm -hmm. But it tastes like a harder lifesaver. So yeah, I love the assortment of snacks that they give you. Not just candies, not just cakes, and they, you know, they add it with a little bit of salty uh, goodness. So Universal Yums, you guys, if you want to head over to their website, we do have a link down in the description of this video so you can get your subscription boxes. They make it really easy if you want to discontinue the subscription as well. So you don't have to jump through hoops to end it if you want to get one box or if you want to bring it for everyone at work. You can do that through the link down in the description of our video. Thank you, Universal Yums, for giving us all these treats. Yes, thank you so much. I know some of these, I'll definitely be diving into them some more. Some of them, I'm like, nah, it'll be a little bit. Uh, he's already grabbing the ones that he's enjoying. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for this, you know, Universal Yums book. I always love going and trying new sweets and stuff uh, from other countries. So maybe we'll go in and see if there's other ones from other countries besides the UK. Um, and try out some of their treats. These too. are damn good chips. But either way, thank you guys for watching our episode of Party Favors, Universal Yum Edition. You can also like and subscribe. And do the thing on our Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, start us. All the social networking, Jin Joints, you know where they are. Kicking the party, feel the party, keep the party going on our Patreon. Check out our live episodes of Late in the Week, available on our channel every Saturday. Check it out. Thank you so much. And as always, now it's time to say goodbye. Party is over. Bye. Bye. Oh, yeah. Really? You had to say, oh, yeah?